Hi, so today I'm going to show you how to draw any shape in Word. I'm currently using Office 365. If you do need to upgrade or subscribe, then please go to the description below where there is a link. And I'm also using the Wacom tablet and pen instead of a mouse. Again, there is a link in the description below. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to insert and manipulate a shape. So I'm going to go to the insert tab, go along to shapes, go to the drop down and insert a shape. Now there are lots of different shapes to choose from. If you scroll down you can see there are quite a few that you can select. So I'm just going to go and select a circle for now and I'm just going to click and drag. Now by default the circle will be um, manipulated into an oval. If you want a perfect circle, if you just hit the shift key, then you will have a perfect circle. So once I check off that, then I have my selected circle. Now at the moment, I can only manipulate the size of my circle and of course its height and its width. Again, if you want the perfect circle, hit the shift key and it will transform into a circle. But if I want to actually move this or manipulate this circle into a completely different shape, I've got to ensure that I'm on the shape format tab here and then go along to this um, icon here, click the drop down and go down to edit points. Now once I've done that, you can see that this red outline appears around my circle with some black um, squares. Now these are all marker points which I can now manipulate. So if I hover my cursor over a black square, you can see that it changes into a cross. And as I do so, I can simply click and drag. And as I drag, oops, and as I drag, you can see how my shape changes. In addition to this, you will see that there are these handles that appear, which allow me to change the uh, size and shape of my curve and I can spin it 360 degrees and I can make the curve bigger or smaller by extending or reducing the size of those handles. In addition to that if I click on the handle and I hit the, op the alt or option key I can just move one of the handles and again create the sort of curve that I want. If I then want to straighten those handles again, I then right click on the black square and go down to straight point. And that will put these handles in a perfectly straight line again. And the reason that you might want to do that is because unless these handles are in line, you won't get a perfect curve. So if I just show you at the moment, if I just click off that, you can see that I've just now got a nice rounded curve. But if I then go back, I hit the Alt key whilst moving this handle here, you'll see that obviously I haven't uh, got the perfect curve. And if I want to try and get the perfect curve, generally I've been lucky there. <laughs> so if I try to sometimes get a perfect curve, I'll manipulate the lines and then when I click off it can be a bit clunky here. So as long as your lines are in a perfect, as long as your handles are in a perfectly straight line, you'll always get a rounded circle. And I mean that by it's not clunky. I'm not really explaining myself very well here, so. Sometimes it can end up like this. So it's a bit sharp on this element here. I'll just zoom in a bit. It's not a perfect curve here. So if I just right click, go to a uh, straight point, then it will move it into a curve. Okay. So you can do this with all of the points around your shape. And if the points that are available aren't enough, you can simply add a point. You can either right click on the red uh, outline and click add point or 
you can simply click straight onto the red uh, border and make your own point. You can also differentiate the points. There's three different settings, the smooth point, straight point and corner point. Now at the moment it says corner point and normally that will mean that you can manipulate one handle and then right click and smooth point will mean that you've now got a curve and then straight point will take you from your corner point to back to your straight point again which we looked at earlier. Okay so now if you wanted to um, manipulate a different shape, let's say for example you wanted to manipulate a square. So we draw the square, we go to shape, edit shape, to edit points and then we come up with these four points here. Now it may be that you just want to um, have one curve on this particular shape. So you can edit this corner point here simply right click on it and go to smooth point and it will take that corner into a curve and it will be a perfect curve until you decide otherwise perhaps hit the alt key again and manipulate one of the handles. In addition to this you can actually draw your own shape so if you go to insert and click on the drop down here you can go to freeform which is this icon here and what this does, it allows you to click, I'm not dragging, just click around and draw your own shape. So you've now drawn your own shape and again if it's not quite right and you don't want to have to draw it again, you can just go to the shape, the edit shape icon again and edit points. And again you can just drag out these points as you need to to form the shape that you want and then again right click on the icons in the corners, the squares in the corners to create the various different curves. Now this can be really useful when you want to draw something that isn't actually available on icons and that's something that I'll talk about in a minute. So if for example that we wanted to draw a flower and a stem, if we simply go to um, so if I, we do it in free transform here, I'm just going to create the stem of a flower here. Let's change that to a brown colour. So we're in the shape format and we're in the shape fill here. And let's just go to a brown colour here. And the outline here I'm going to get rid of, no outline. Okay, so I've created my stem. Again, I can uh, make it bigger or smaller, skinnier or taller. But then if I wanted some slightly rounded edges to this, I'd simply go up to Edit Shape. I'm going to make this a bit bigger so that you can see this better. Edit Shape, Edit Points. And then I'm going to right click on this point here, click Smooth, right click and Smooth. And so now we can just manipulate this stem like we just want a slightly skinnier end to it. I'm going to click on this one as well, smooth it out and there we go and click off and then I've got the shape that I need. Now of course you can copy and paste these as many times as you want to if you were going to design some kind of bunch of flowers. So if I have my stem here And then if I wanted to create a flower, let's go to shapes, let's go to the diamond shape to create a petal. I'm going to go to edit shape, edit points, right click, smooth point, right click, smooth point, and then just move these around to create the types of petal that I want. There we go. And of course, if I wanted to change the shape, um, fill, and then the outline as well. 
have something slightly less garish. Let's maybe it's okay. Okay, now of course you can click on these and you can go to home and you can go to the copy icon here and then paste and it will copy and paste. You can also right click, go to copy and paste or you can hit the control or command C, command or control V to copy and paste as well. So then I can carry on and click the paste icon several times. Oh. And then I can just move these out here. And then I can just go around, manipulate the shapes. There's a little circle on the top of the box that allows you to rotate your shape. Okay, and if we just wanted to put in a center circle, I just click and drag that over to here. No outline. Let's just go to more colors and let's just maybe just lighten that up a bit. Okay, so now I've got all these different shapes and we've uh, seen how we can copy and paste these. We can actually use some outlines to make them look a little bit more artistic. So if we wanted to put an outline on these petals, um, you can go up to the shape outline here, but I'm gonna, once you double click on your shape, you will find that this drop down menu comes up on the right hand side. And if you go to the bucket icon, it will show you these two drop down menus here, fill, which is the inside of your shape and line, which is the outline. If you click on line and you go to solid line, at the moment it's set to navy blue, but if I go to, let's say gray, and I just zoom in so you can see what's happening. I'm gonna go down to this icon here that says sketched style, and then I'm gonna go down to the bottom here. So as you can see, that gives you a slightly more sketch style to your shape. And then again, if you want to manipulate that, you can simply click on it, go to edit shape and edit points. And as you can see now, there are actually several lines around the outline of your shape, because now you've got an outline and an inner shape. And if you pull these icons here, the black squares, it will pull and push the inside colour and the outline as well. So if you are going to co copy and paste something, it's probably better if you were to do that first and make your shape as you want to have it first before then you have to go around and do each individual shape. So the next thing I'm going to talk about is icons. Now icons can be seen if you go to the insert tab and you go along to this icon here with the duck and the leaf. If you click on this, you'll see that there's a menu that appears on the right hand side with hundreds and hundreds of different icons that you can use for your artwork. And yet all of these can be manipulated and customized. Let's say for example, it's a musical note. So we have the musical note, we click wrap text and tight to move it. We then go up to convert shape. If you can't see it, you need to be on the graphics format. If graphics format isn't available, you need to select your shape and it will appear. Go to convert to shape, click yes. And then you can see now that I can go back up to shape format, edit shape, edit points. And again, you have all these points that come up that just allow you that if you just wanted to reverse this note like this or just make these points bigger or smaller for whatever reason then you can do so 
And again, you can manipulate these icons by changing their, sh their color and their outline. I'm just clicking on some random colors here. And then of course, if you double click, you can go to format shape. And again, you've got all these different um, customization menus that will appear. And again, that you can use um, gradients, gradient fills, you can use more colors. There really is no end of different things that you can do in this program to um, support your artistic needs. And again, you can make these shapes bigger or smaller, depending on what you need to do. So I hope that helps. I hope you've learned something. If you do have any questions, don't hesitate to put them in the comments below and have a great day.